Yo, what is up guys? Willis back here again with another gear review in After Pulse. We are making the progression from the 4 star Samurai gear set to the 5 star Samurai gear set. I think this one's actually called Samurai whatever. The headgear, torso and legs all have like certain Japanese names or something. Um, but the 5 star one is like consistently Samurai on each piece. But I'm just calling them the Samurai gear sets overall. So. This is a 5 star set here, we did just review the 4 star a couple videos ago and one of the main points in that video was that weapon selection was key, I said portability was a big downside to that gear set and I mentioned playing with a couple other different setups, the SMR was one of those and it just did not work with the 4 star gear set. I figured I'd give it a try here with the 5 star gear set since you know it's not much but you do gain a little bit more portability and I think it's the 3 piece set bonus on this gear that gives you an extra boost in portability so I think it's like 7% with the 4 star set, 10% with the 5 star set and then something else obviously a little bit higher with the 6 star set but we'll check stats later on don't quote me on those numbers but I know one of the boosts is an increase in portability um, and so obviously if you go from 4 to 5 stars it's just going to increase, if you go to 5 to 6 stars it's just going to increase more so you know something to consider, I didn't feel too slow playing with the SMR16 here with the 5 star Samurai gear set, I think it is viable, it is competitive, I think you would do better with a more portable primary weapon um, specifically I guess you know you could if you have a really good secondary I guess you could be going with that but mostly just saying primary weapons because that's what obviously you tend to use the most um, gotta love that kill for kill it's been happening to me so much lately they pop up on the screen and they have zero health left like when it shows the kill screen um, that happens to me all the time now but <laughs> um, anyways you know it's, this is a pretty good setup um, I'm not like blown away by it I wouldn't you know if you were down to your last 510 gold would I tell you to open a samurai gear pack and hope for the best probably not um, you know we'll wait to see what the six star gear set is like I will have a video on that I did get all three pieces so we'll make the progression review all the samurai gear from four five and six stars uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to the six star video hopefully you guys are as well um, there's a nice little kill there. I don't know what that guy was using. Maybe some handguns or something. He had the wicked clown setup. Um, but I totally lost my train of thought. I feel like I was saying something. Here's the wicked clown guy again. Get him, get him. Yeah. Got my buddy HD29 revolver chrome. Um, and you gotta love the new iOS. Where if you just like so much as touch the bottom or the top of your screen and either brings down the notification center or brings up the control center incredibly annoying and I know you can turn it off in settings but like it's actually useful to have that functionality available I, you know I just feel like it's like it's overly sensitive in the new iOS and for gaming specifically I constantly find myself like accidentally bringing up the control center with notifications whatever um, just by like touching the edge of the screen so it's a little annoying. Um, I could understand why they made that change and obviously I could just turn it off if I was like a really hardcore gamer. I don't really care that much, it's just, you know, a small annoyance. Um, but there we go, 12, 2, and 3. Certainly not a bad match, it's like a 6 KD. Um, maybe higher if you count assists towards that. Uh, so, not bad at all, you know? 5 star gear set, 7 star SMR 16 autumn, obviously when I do gear reviews, you got to keep in mind the weapons I use. Not everybody's going to have a, a 7 star SMR16 Autumn. Not everybody's going to have a, a 6 star Revolver Chrome. Um, I'll try to show you the gear here real quick. So here is the 5 star headgear. Uh, plus 15% range with Assault and LMG. Then we got the torso. Reduced damage received in the torso by 20%. Uh, decent portability, but not great. And it is pretty good on defense. And then here are the 5 star legs plus 20% protection against SMG and we ran out of time it jumped us into the next match here so 
We'll jump into raised fort and we just played race tour. <laughs> this happens to me all the time. I know I've said it in past videos, but like, if they could just add a simple map voting system, like, I was playing earlier today and I got warehouse at least five times in a row. No lie, just played ranked back to back and I played warehouse five times in a row. It's so insane, man, I don't understand it. Um, just a simple map voting system, give us two choices, you know, it, it can't possibly be that hard to implement, um, but whatever, we'll enjoy our time here on Raised Fort, see if it plays out any differently than the last match. I would generally expect pretty much the same outcome, I'll pretty much be playing the same, um, you know, with something with like the SMR with a, a kind of slower fire rate, uh, it's more, more of a long range, mid to long range weapon. Um, Although it, it can definitely kill up close, you know, if you're if you're accurate, you can you can certainly do some damage against the best of the close quarters weapons in the game. Uh, but obviously, you're going to excel a bit more at mid to long range with this gun. So, you know, I'm kind of playing a bit more reserved, kind of hanging out in the corners here, trying to pick off a couple shots, not just running around like a madman. Um, and you know, portability still isn't that great. Um, with this gear setup, so even if I wanted to run around like a madman, I you know I, I really can't. Um, you know, we got the assist with the revolver, don't die. Oh, we got me. <laughs> the lovely smiley knight again. I feel like that's all I've been seeing lately. It's gonna haunt me in my dreams. Um, <laughs> let's see. I don't know what's going on here. All right, that guy's still there. All right, my fire button like froze for a second. That was weird. Uh, but we got him. I don't know if there's someone to our left or what. I'm gonna push up this way, hopefully nobody sneaks up behind us. Grab that reload. I do like the look of the five star gear. It's like mostly black, little, you know, a couple red accents. I think it does look decent enough. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Obviously it's not like, like super, super realistic or anything, but it's not like crazy fantasy type of stuff. So, you know, I, I, I can get down with it. I like it. Um, the six star gear is like, kind of the reverse of this it's like mostly red with some black accents I guess um, so I don't know you know they both look kind of cool I don't think the four star gear really looks that cool you guys just saw that past video if you watched it um, a couple videos ago like I said earlier I uh, you know I don't really like the color scheme on that one but I mean it's four star gear who really cares like I said in that video you know unless you're brand new to after pulse you're you know, 99% of the time you're not going to be wearing four-star gear, so who really cares? Um, you know, I just figured I'd point out that I do like the way the five-star gear looks, you know, the colorway specifically. I think it does look pretty cool, and obviously it's got that kind of red and black design with the veteran style going on. It kind of matches the veteran weapons, and I think I said in a past video I was kind of surprised that they didn't introduce veteran-specific gear. I would assume, like I can only assume that one day we'll have some gear that like specifically boosts veteran weapons, maybe not, uh, but this gear is, is very general, it's like, you know, plus 10% portability for any weapon, plus, um, well the plus, whatever, 15% range is specifically assault and LMG, um, and then the other two perks are protection, but uh, I know that portability is like for any weapon at all, so... Uh, pretty interesting setup. It's not veteran specific, but it does match well with the veteran gear. And so, I guess kind of summing it up here at the end, uh, would I recommend the five star samurai gear set? Yeah, yeah, I I could recommend it. I could get behind it and say it's it's decent enough. Um, yeah, plus three piece uh, or three piece set is plus seven percent portability. I think I had those numbers mixed up. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I could recommend it. I think there's plenty of other gear options out there that are just as good, if not better. Uh, so it's kind of hard, but you know, if it is the best gear that you have for the moment, you can definitely compete with this five-star samurai gear. Uh, once again, your weapons make a huge difference as well. You know, gear is just half the equation. Weapons are half the equation. Put them together and, you know, you can compete with the best of them. So. Maybe that helps, maybe it doesn't. Just kind of my thoughts on the five star samurai gear. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, especially if you want more gear review videos in After Pulse. We will be back 
with the six star samurai gear set definitely looking forward to that and we'll also be back with some more veteran weapons reviews and other weapons reviews and things like that and as always i'll catch you on the next video